foot-locked cyborg. So two rowdy individuals. Here we go. And I, I think that this could follow this pace the whole time. Uh, you know, Cyborg's last match was uh, uh, so impressive against... Um, Braganetto. Yeah, Braganetto. He, he, he pulled off a triangle in the last uh, few seconds of the match and stole the match away from right. Braganetto. Yeah. So that's a good day. Right. I don't want to say he's an underdog, no. but to pull off something like that is unexpected. Yeah. And uh, you got to be wondering if he's that on. Yeah. What's could mean happen. bad things for Kavaka. It could. It could. So. But Kavaka's been on fire. He has, uh, again, since he appeared, I think here, I think last year was his first time at the Worlds. I uh, could be off. But, uh, yeah, he has been very impressive since he's kind of made his appearance here on the, what we consider the global scene. Yeah. Good leg work. Pummel on that left leg back th over and through so that Cyborg doesn't get the pass. I mean, Kavaka is the guy who I believe lost at the European absolutes uh, after submitting everybody along the way. Wow. And that was a nice uh, three-quarters guard sweep, but, but Cyborg likes this half guard also. Um, you see... Kavaka already. This is guard, right? Yeah. <laughs> you see Kavaka already going after that foot. He's looking at it. You know, you <laughs> know the, the cartoons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the cartoons where the man turns into a piece of beef. Yeah. Right. That that foot right there is a piece of beef for Kavaka, and it looks like he is checking that thing out. He's got Cyborg locked up. Um, this is a position that you know, I, Hensel used to use on on quite a few of us in training where, where you lock the leg and the head inside. As if a triangle. As if a triangle. Yeah. And now you're stuck and the foot's just hanging there. Huh. Yeah. Um, it's a very uncomfortable position. This does too. not look pleasant. Yeah. It's, here comes the, the toe hole. Imagine there's little defense. Uh, very little. Very little. And, and, it, and if that happens, then the other toe hole gets or the knee bar. Or the, so Kavaka chose to unlock the legs and he's going on the straight foot lock now. Now, Straight foot locks a little hard because he needs the feet to push on the hips. Right. So he needs to free that left foot. There's no danger here of a calf crunch or something like that, right? No, yeah, not, not, in, not in this situation. Here he's cranking like crazy. Now if he puts that left foot to the hip. Oh my gosh, he got it. He got the tap. Look at that. Kavanka takes out. Seaborg. Oh my. Straight Achilles lock. He finishes Cyborg. You know, people say straight Achilles, or the uh, kind of sitting back to the straight foot lock like that is, you don't really see that very much in, in uh, ending matches at this level. But that was a little bit more going on than yeah. a typical straight foot lock setup. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot going on there. And, you know, the, w with, the str with the foot lock, the more bent the knee is, the stronger the foot lock is. And you could see Cyborg's knee was, was his, uh, his foot was almost at his butt. Yeah. So when, when uh, Kavaka put that pressure on there, uh, he got it. Yeah. The ultra heavyweight world champ. He's a big fella. Rodrigo Kavaka. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure when he decides to a go on a little ankle. <laughs> yeah. So you know what we have waiting? We have just a one and a half matches left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, I, I really, you know, with the, in the injury of Homolo, we probably will not see an, op an open match. Congratulations, Rodrigo Kovaca. Ultra heavyweight world champ. Yeah. 2010. I wonder who put less time in with the opponents, Kovaca or Hadra?